Hello there cherished ones, so five more days to go on uh, this yoga and tantra hatha teacher training. Um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up but there is a gigantic storm outside, there's rain, there's lightning, it's really electric and you can almost feel the energy or a really strong vibration outside. In fact after this I think I might go and wave my hands in the air, away from any uh, long poles of course. Um, the day has been mainly dedicated to a lot of my sisters and their practicals, so watching each individual step into their space of teaching, which has been really beautiful to watch. Um, it's mine in two days, so I've been doing a bit of revision for that. Um, earlier we had a Ganga bath and we were talking about how do you sit with suffering. Um, and for some reason there was something really beautiful in that idea of um, surpassing the normal coil of suffering and wake, working your way through it. So I'm not asking for suffering as a, as a lesson. Um, but there was something about that idea of working through the suffering rather than repressing it or running away from it, which felt quite beautiful to me today. And stepping into the freezing cold water didn't seem to touch my bones as much as it normally does. Um, and I actually left the water with a real big smile on my face. Um, after the teachers, after we all, um, some of the sisters did their teaching, we had um, a heart meditation and, and uh, Radhasi, the teacher, she burnt some sage, which is all about extinguishing and getting rid of any unwanted energies and creating a sacred space and there was a meditation and I find myself really emotional in this meditation, not really knowing why and um, you know, releasing a few tears, which I do believe to be healing when tears do leave the body. Um, and that's, that's been a bit interesting, it's been interesting. Um, and sitting with those emotions, and as one of my sisters says, allowing space for those emotions is really important. Um, coming home soon, looking forward to that in many ways. Um, but I'll also really miss the practice of the meditation, the yoga, the chats, um, so yeah, doing my best to remain open to each and every moment and not rush too far ahead to leaving or, or longing on the past, doing my best to be present, um, using my senses to stay in the moment. Um, yeah, I guess, I was feeling a bit out of sorts earlier, but I find this storm is really invigorating me, so that, that's really positive. And I think sharing these messages really help me convey something and help really lift my mood. So thank you all for sharing this journey with me. Wishing you all so much love.